From the Earth to the Moon is a 1958 American science fiction picture, directed by our friend Byron Haskin, starring Joseph Cotton, George Sanders, and Deborah Paget. This feature is presented to us in pleasant technicolor. Of course, this is an adaptation of the iconic Jules Verne novel. Published in 1865, De la Terra a la Lune Trajet, direct in 97 hours 20 minutes, detailing an extravagant American gun club's efforts to construct a Columbiad space gun and launch three individuals into outer space. The novel is perhaps most renowned for Verne's attempts to accurately determine the mathematical logistics of the canon. It is very easy to sneer at its quaintness in hindsight if we consider how few people would have had any knowledge of this budding science at all. The effort is considerably impressive, in my opinion. The plot of the film appears to differ from that of the novel. I have not read the novel itself. I have only read an article or two about it in research. I am a film junkie. Anyway, so after the end of the American Civil War, a munitions producer named Victor Barbicane, portrayed by Joseph Cotton, declares that he has invented a new explosive he names Power X. A skeptical metallurgist named Stuyvesant Nickel scoffs at Barbicane's claim and offers a wager of $100,000, which apparently would add up to $1.9 million today, that it cannot destroy his invention, the hardest metal in existence. Barbicane stages a demonstration using a small cannon and demolishes Nichols' material, as well as a portion of the surrounding countryside. As a result, President Ulysses S. Grant demands that Barbicane cease development of his invention after several anxious nations claim that continued development on this power X will be considered an act of war. Barbican agrees, although he discovers that pieces of Nichols' metal from the demonstration have been seemingly converted into an exceptionally strong yet lightweight ceramic. As you, as one intuitively responds, he, he, he decides to build a spaceship and shoot for the moon. He requests Nichols' assistance in the construction. Once they're in space, Nichols is revealed to be incensed at the fact that Barbican does not fear God. He feels as though Barbican has cursed God, utterly spited him. Remember 1955's Conquest of Space, also directed by Byron Haskin? I do. A bittersweet ending here, and a entertaining as usual turn from my dear George Sanders, aka 1967's The Jungle Book's Shere Khan. Byron Haskin was an interesting film director, I think. I enjoy his large, more lavish genre productions. He attempted to graph genuine spectacles, coloured vividly and earnestly forward-thinking, technically, artistically, within the parameters of traditional Hollywood hopeful hits. Haskin's ideal appeared to be these wondrous audience-pleasing extravaganzas, investing in VFX creativity and imaginative world-building via considered set design. I rather admire his output and intend to explore some more of his works eventually on this program. From the Earth to the Moon is not the greatest Byron Haskin film, it's not the greatest Jules Verne cinematic adaptation you will ever witness, although it's engaging, it's charming. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a fun time watching it. Yeah. If you're interested, I'd, I'd, I'd suggest checking it out. Have a superb day.